So I get a lot of questions from ex and servant police officers in relation to starting a business. So in this episode, I thought I'd share with you what questions you'll need to answer before you even begin. So the first question is your reason why. Why do you want to go in business, you crazy person? You see, business is freaking hard work. It has hardships, it has challenges, and it's very frustrating. So having a strong reason why is really gonna set you apart and pull you through those hard times. And I believe it should be more than just money. Now, that's not to say money's not important because it gives you choices and ultimately it's gonna change your life. But really, money shouldn't be the motivating factor. Think about the deep rooted reasons of why you going want to go into business. Is it to spend more time with your kids? Is it to never miss a, a cherished moment with your, your wife or your husband or, or particular family members? Is it to make a bigger impact in the world? Is it to support charities better? Whatever that reason is for you, hold it dear to you because that is really gonna help you through the hardships that are gonna come on your journey. Next, who is your target customer? You see, I see a common problem that a lot of startup entrepreneurs make is they go for the product first and not actually the target customer. Entrepreneurs, they start with the customer and how they can solve those problems for that particular customer. So think about the niche that you want to go into or think about you know, the demographic of a person. It could be age range, a certain career that these people are working with. Whatever it may be, please focus on that target customer. Who is going to be your target customer? Now you know who your target customer is and the problems they're facing, what products and services are you going to create to solve those problems? Now, are you gonna have a physical product? Are you gonna have a service-based product? How are you going to deliver that product? And how are you going to sell that product? Because ultimately, that's the thing that's gonna move your business forward. Now, something else you wanna consider is your unique selling proposition. Because there's competition out there in today's day and age, in 2019, and um, the chances are that there's gonna be competition whatever market you go into. So think about how you're gonna make your product or service better than the competition. The next question is how are you going to get customers? Now, what I mean by this question is how are you gonna market your brand and business so that you're in front of your target customer? Now, are you gonna market online? Are you gonna run Facebook ads? Are you going to go on Instagram? Are you gonna be on LinkedIn? Or are you gonna market offline at events? Really think about what's the best marketing strategy that are gonna bring in the leads and bring in the customers, which ultimately going to bring in the sales for your business. So the next question is, what is the ROI? Now, ROI stands for return on investment. I believe, especially starting your business, you should be the biggest investor within your company in time, money, and energy. So you wanna make sure it's worth it, right? You don't wanna go through the hardships and the challenges for nothing. So you wanna look at how much you're selling your product for, and you wanna look at the costs associated with creating your product or service. So if, as an example, if you are selling your product for a thousand pounds, but it takes a thousand pounds to create uh, or deliver your product, then ultimately you are not making any profit margin, which isn't great. However, if you are still selling your product for a thousand pounds, but it takes 500 pounds to create, then that means it's a 500 pound profit margin. And also you wanna consider the running costs, the day-to-day -day costs of running your business. Now there's two ways of looking at this, your variable costs and your fixed costs. So variable costs for you know, my company example, the things like marketing, you know, workbook and you know, collateral for our events, and also uh, fixed costs as things like our uh, mentors, um, it could be our venues or payroll. So really think about those costs as well, because ultimately you wanna make sure that you've got a healthy business going forward that's ultimately gonna give you the lifestyle that you really want. And a side note to that question, you want to look at the months or the years you're going to break even, you're going to make profit, and ultimately going to get you to your financial goals, whether that's six figures, multiple six figures, 500K or a million. Whatever it is, make sure you're mapping out a route to get there through a structured financial plan. So the next question is, what is the business model? How are you going to create value? how you're going to deliver value, and how you're going to capture value from your customers. So are you going to run an offline business or an online business? Is it gonna be a subscription-based model? Are you gonna run events? Are you gonna have uh, an offline product and also an online product and combine the two? Really think about how you're gonna run the business model within your company. 
so you've got complete clarity around all the moving parts within your business. And the last question is who is going to be on your team? Now, starting out in business as an entrepreneur, you're going to be wearing the many hats as a typical entrepreneur does, such as admin, finance, operations, marketing, and sales. However, you cannot keep that game up for too long. The reason being is that you're going to get frustrated and you're going to end up bottlenecking yourself with all the many tasks that you're going to be doing. And to be honest, entrepreneurship is a team sport. You're going to need a team to grow your business to the next level and ultimately grow faster with a team around you. So think about you know, do you need a graphic designer, a virtual assistant, an executive assistant? Do you need mentors or advisors? Do you need someone on sales and marketing? Do you need content managers? Think about all the key opponents within your business and who you can delegate things to, because that is gonna be a critical factor for you getting you to where you want to be. So that's it guys, that's the key questions you need to answer before you start a business. Now if you're an extra serving police officer saying you're looking to go into business or you're looking to scale your existing business to ultimately live life on your terms with more income, time and passion, then please do check out a link around this video so you can check out our business accelerators. And also if you did like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and share and I'll see you in the next one.